Okay guys, we're thrifting local today. I'm going out of town about 20, 30 minutes. There's an estate sale and then about three thrift stores that I'm gonna stop at as well. I'm getting a late start to the day. It's around 11.30, so let's see what I can get done. This has slowly become one of my favorite thrift stores. They put out a lot of beauty products here. They must get a lot donated. So I always make this my very first stop. Now that Gundry product was in one of my YouTube shorts this week. And I unfortunately had to cut that video down. It's actually a minute and a half. And for YouTube, I have to cut my videos down to one minute for them to qualify as a short. So I had to leave out a little bit of information for you guys, but that dark spot remover has over a 12,000% sell through rate. I picked up this little sunscreen for personal use. This is a really great brand. If you can find that sunscreen in a bigger bottle, they sell pretty well. But as you can see, the travel size is only selling for about $5. For some reason, I'm just drawn to certain items, and I noticed this little birthday cake. It looks like it goes in like a classroom. That's what I would assume this is for. It's definitely vintage, and blue is the half-off color, so this is half-off. Now, I look at the label. I'm looking for a year, but I never find one. But just by looking at it, I would assume this is early 90s, and I did end up picking this up. I haven't listed it yet. I don't think I'm gonna do any type of research. I'm just gonna slap a price on this, probably 15 or best offer, and just kind of see what happens. I always claim I'm done buying items with a slow sell-through rate, but I guarantee that little cake thing will sell slow, and so will these vintage wrapping papers, but I end up purchasing quite a few of these. I go through all of these, and what I'm looking for is sets. I want more than one wrapping paper that is identical or a happy birthday lot I can make or a nursery lot I could make. So this is what I end up picking up. I find actually three packs of these vintage Noah Ark wrapping papers and these ones are forget me not. These next two kind of tie in together. This one is a bridal shower wrapping paper and then the other one, this blue one, is going to be an anniversary. This is the other Noah's Ark wrapping paper. And then these next ones are, that one says spring, but it kind of reminds me of a baby shower. This one has little rattles on it. And then these next two are kind of masculine. So I'm going to lock those ones together. I'm also putting together a random happy birthday lot. So that yellow paper will, will go in there. And then this one is my favorite. I really love those graphics. And then there's two of these polka dots. I'm gonna lock these together. And then these right here will all go together. And then that happy birthday will go with the yellow happy birthday. And it's probably going to take a few months to sell all of these, but I just didn't want to leave those behind, especially for that price. This type of stuff is definitely not my favorite to sell, but I always look through and I'm looking for some gems, some rare items. Same thing with these figurines. I usually don't find anything here, but you never know. So I always go through and see if there's anything that catches my eye, like this little music box. Once I flip it over, it looks like it has some damage. I did use Google Image to see if these were selling, and I was able to find a listing on eBay that was for the exact same item, but it hadn't sold, and there weren't any sold listings at all. So that's definitely an item that I'm not willing to pick up and take a gamble on. I am willing to take a gamble on this clock though. It is a little weird looking and definitely something different. I flip it over and there is a brand name on the back of this. This is an Allen Designs clock. So I just type in Allen Design cat clock into my eBay search bar and at the time no sold listings popped up for me but there were quite a few listed and then quite a few sold just not identical to this one so i went ahead and decided that i was going to pick this up now this is a listing that sold the day that i picked this up i currently have mine listed for 59.99 and i'm gonna go ahead and leave the price right there and hopefully it'll sell quickly
I'm always looking out for girly candles. The only bad thing about them is the only way to identify them is they have a sticker on the bottom or probably Google image. When I flip this one over, it has a either made in China or made in Taiwan sticker. So I know for sure they aren't girly. So I don't even take the time to look those up. Does anybody do good with Easter decorations? I don't think I've ever sold an Easter decoration on eBay ever. Let me know in the comments if you have and what it was. Usually Halloween and Christmas are the only holiday items that sell for me. I have picked up others, but none of them have done very well or they just sit on the shelf. Okay, it used to be called Therapy, but it's called eBay product research or something like that so that's what i used to see if this jemmy santa was worth anything but it looks like he only sells for about 15 um even during christmas time even though he's half off he'd only be three dollars it doesn't look like very many have sold so i'm gonna go ahead and pass on that and then i'm just gonna like kind of look quickly through this christmas stuff i'm not gonna look up too much i'm just looking for something that catches my eye to see if it sells like something like this. And not too many people look at the Christmas tough stuff this time of year, so I'll come back and Google image that. I'm just gonna look through super quick because I wanna get to that state sale. I think that's where I'm gonna go next. I'm gonna go ahead and leave town. I have like four other thrift stores in town I could go to, but um, I wanna get out of town and get to that estate sale. So I'm gonna go grab some cash and head over there as soon as I look through this Christmas stuff. I think I did pretty good here. Um, that wrapping paper, that might be a slower seller, but for the price and what I can sell it for, I feel like that's a really good ROI. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick that up. At Christmas time this year, they opened this little section with all of this Christmas stuff. And I thought they would close it down after Christmas, but this is out all year round now. I had a comment a couple days ago somebody said that it always seems like I'm the only person in the thrift store and it's not always true but it's not always busy usually Wednesdays are really busy because all of the stores in my area it is a senior day and military discount day so that's really the only day other than Sundays when Goodwill has their half off color that is really busy in my area Okay, if you see something and you think I missed it, let me know. But I really don't feel like digging through and looking stuff up in this Christmas area. So I'm gonna look up that one light and then I'm gonna check out. Okay guys, that estate sale was more like a glorified garage sale. They had pulled everything into the garage and a little bit into the driveway under a tent. And that was everything that they had. So I have not been to the, this thrift store in a while because I was not finding anything here and it's kind of out of the way but it was really close to that estate sale so I figured I would stop and go through really quick even though I mean it's it's a big store so I'm gonna try and go through as quickly as I can um, see what I can find I have a whole bunch of other stores on the list I am <laughs> in our little sports car so I'm kind of limited on picking up big stuff. We're down to three cars right now. Our pickup truck is getting worked on. So my husband had to take our daughter out of town and my car is just a little bit smoother of a ride just because our highways are a hot mess in Michigan and there's a lot of construction. So it's just easier not to be in um, the Audi. So I am driving that today. So I have to be selective, which I swear it's like that car is bad luck. Every time I drive that car, I never really find much. So hopefully that's not the case today. I never look at their shoes here. They're always super, super beat up. I think I've said that before on a video a long time ago. I'm definitely going to pick up these Riddle Dixie Cups for $1.25. I just sold some. They were the 5 ounce, not the 3 ounce. The 3 ounce is what is discontinued. But I just sold a set of 5 ounce, a brand new box for 15 
because of the pattern, it was a discontinued pattern. Okay guys, I just Google image this and it's Simon and Scully Avon and I plugged that into eBay's what used to be Terra Peak and I forget what it's called now and it um, only one has sold in the last two years so I'm definitely going to pass on that but sometimes little Avon things like that can sell and I always use the eBay research tool which is right above if you go to my eBay um, selling it's right above I want to say your feedback and you can search the last three years of solds so I use that a lot for holiday items like I said this store is huge but we are going to try and get through it quickly I don't know why I'm trying to get through it quickly I think I just want to hit up as many stores as I can today and I really don't want to waste time. I swear these sell 50 cents. I'll look them up in a little bit. I might be wrong though. I'm gonna stick with the aisles and then come back and do this back part. They have a lot of stuff. Their shelves are really full today, so hopefully I luck out. Houston Harvest. Product of Houston Harvest, yeah. I've never heard of Houston Harvest. Is that what that is too? Yeah. Produced for Houston Foods, Franklin. I'm gonna Google image one of these really quick. Okay, so I just Google image all of those and we're gonna pass on all of them because the comps that Google popped up right away were all for $20 or less. So I'm gonna assume that that's just not really worth my time. I'm not even going to check sell through rate on them. The amount of knives that are in this store is absolutely crazy. I always open these up just to hopefully see some Cutco on the top. I'm super scared to really dig through these just because I don't want to cut myself. The last time I was here, they were selling boxes of random knives that were just taped shut for $2 a piece. And they still have all of these. Hey guys, so I know I did a YouTube video on this, but just if you haven't seen it, see how this Barbie, God, I don't think it's going to focus in, the lighting's horrible, but it says 1966. This Barbie is not from 1966, she's probably from like 92, 93, where was she made? She was made in Taiwan, 
so late 80s, early 90s. Um, Barbies that were made in the 60s were made in Japan. They have uh, markings on their butt. So if you haven't seen that video, check it out. That is just the year that that body was patented. <laughs> Look at these old. Those are cool. Okay, so she is going to be a no, and so is the walkie-talkie, wherever I put it. I know this is a no. I've looked one of these up recently. I think only one has sold, and it was like six of them that are brand new in the box sold together for, I believe it was 50. I'll pop it up on the screen, and then um, there was like 10 listed when I looked, probably, it might have just been a couple days ago, honestly. Okay, so I think handbags is the last thing that I need to look at in the store. Three, four.
to look that soap up, I'm not sure. These look like they could be vintage. Made in Canada. I'm gonna go ahead and grab these. Just a little tiny one. I'll have to look and see if that's worth it. So these are a couple items that I looked up with a low sell through rate. This is a hair remover. There's like 65 listed, five heads sold. So I'm gonna pass on that. That's an item that I would think would sell. I sell a lot of small like electrolysis machines. And then this pressure cooker was the same thing. There was about 40 listed and seven heads sold. And I thought this would be a good one as well, but it's not. And it's the half off color, so it's only $10. But it's definitely not worth picking up. Okay, guys, I'm going to end this one right here. I have a really busy day ahead of me. I'm going to do some thrifting and go see my grandpa again. He is on a Chipotle kick. I got him Chipotle for the first time last week, and he really liked it. So I have to go pick some up, take him some food, have lunch with him, and then on my way home, I'm probably going to hit up three or four thrift stores. There's like three on my way home from his house. So I'll probably hit those up on the way home. If you're interested in my bolo list, um, I did release a video in my Patreon and it's it's basically a bolo list in video form. I went to this estate sale where I found a lot of bolos that I have already shared in my bolo group and quite a few new bolos as well. So instead of making that into a YouTube video that half of it would be blurred out, I made it into a YouTube video that's only available if you purchase it through 
my Patreon or in one of my subscriber groups. But thank you guys so much for watching. I'm going to head out of town. I appreciate every single one of you. Thank you so much for watching, liking, commenting. I appreciate it so much. And I will see you guys on my next video in a couple of days.